What's happening? Welcome to the channel. Uh, today I'm doing something completely different. Um, I thought I'd do a little video on how I go about my processes and the way I go around getting my photos for my Instagram, my portfolio, whatever it is you need. They're just some of the ways I do it. So let's move into it. Sweet. <laughs> First things first, you need to get your car, or cars, depending on what you're doing. So, once you've got your car, you need to analyse the car, look around it, see what you want to show off, what aspects you want to show off. So, you've got Steve's car, Golf, Golf R Mark VI, um, he's on air, he's got a banging set of wheels, his rear diffuser is absolutely the bollocks, and his exhaust tips are massive. So, with Steve, we normally try to incorporate how light goes, the wheels, and everything around it. So, normally, I, like with Steve's shots, I normally go from the rear, his car looks more aggressive from the rear when he's sitting low, so that's what I do. And then, you might have an A45 MG, like Harry's here. Um, with Harry's, he's got a really aggressive rear end with a spoiler. His wheels are they poke a little bit, gives it a bit more stance. He's got that rear diffuser on the rear. Um, black cars shining, brilliant. His rear lights they look like Kylo Ren if you look closely. Um, Kylo Ren's mask that's what they remind me of. So once you've got your car, analyze it, see what you want to do, and then you move on to the location. So you've got your car, you're on to location. Once you have location, with myself, my personal preference is I like to get as much location in as I can, as well as showing off the car. 95% of my shots are probably location car. Um, sometimes you'll get the zoomed in bits of the wheel, the arch, or something like that. But like this shot here with Harry's, um, you've got the whole trees in the background, the sun, the sunset in the before, in the at the back, shining down the side of the car, um, showing off his wheels, his spoiler and his rear lights, like I was saying earlier with the AMG badge. This is zoomed in a little bit just to, because before it was zoomed out, but as you can see, I like I like the location shots. Then we've got the S5. Uh, this is at the O2 Arena. As you can see, the car's here again in the bottom right, um, with all the background they're dropping nicely. Uh, it's a shame about the rubbish there that ruined the shot a little bit, but what can do? I weren't going to get the broom up and sweep, do you know what I mean? So, um, once you've found your location, it's not always the one you want. Believe me, I've planned to go loads of places and it's not always the one you want, but sometimes you find something and you just have to deal with it. So, once you've found your location, it's all about the positioning of the car. Let's move on to that. Next, you're on to position. So, with the position, you like the position of where you're taking your shots. There's no one way. Move around as best as you can. That's all I can say is, if you're shooting during the day, you can normally do it handheld, no problem. Nighttime, you need your tripod, obviously, but still move around. Go everywhere. Go everywhere. We'll get into places you would never think of even going normally during the day, walking around. Go everywhere. Like I remember one time we was in the country lane. It was the funniest days I've ever had. Um, parts uh, the A45 AMG up on the bridge. There's a little stream underneath, and there was a big, massive tree next door. We thought, we are, if we get a shot from above, um, I didn't have my drone that day, so I couldn't get a photo that day. Get a shot from above. I couldn't climb the tree. Lucky enough, Steve managed to volunteer and climb the tree. Look at him. Look at him in this tree, right? This was the fun. Look how happy he is trying to get this shot. And the shot didn't work out. Like, we didn't use it. It, it didn't look good. It, the angles weren't quite right. But then you've got... This is what happened from the bridge. This is the bridge we're talking about with the stream running underneath. This was this shot was taken about 20 metres away. I had to run across halfway across the farm field, caked in some mud up to my knees, right? But look at the shot I got. I climbed down into the river, got into the little bank bit, set the tripod up, and look, with the sun casting on the left and on the right. So location, again, I like to get all that in. So don't be afraid to try every way possible. And sometimes you've got to do things that, you might not want to do to get it, but they pay off, look at that. So once you've done that, it's the position of the car now. So let's move on to that. Next, we're moving on to the position of the car, the angles, whatever you park it at. Like obviously, you can move round, but normally if you're trying to get that location in, you normally have to move to jig the car around. Believe me, the boys get it does the drivers nuts in moving around so much, but it pays off. So like good starting points are, 45 degrees, getting a nice side view look, look of the car, showing off the wheels, the front wing, the front bonnet, the rear spoiler if they've got it. Just almost giving you the shape of the car, but you're still incorporating a bit of the front and a bit of the rear as and when you can. Um, like this shot here with a Mini, 
uh, got a little bit of the graffiti on the left hand side showing the full side of the car with the with the bonnet and the front bumper you can see a little you can't see no rear it's li literally it looks like it's cut off at the rear that's that's a good go-to shot it's normally one of my first shots i do when i'm taking photos of a car um next we move on to you've got the front end shot now this was again at the o2 this is my s5 um the wheels ain't all that great with the front end shot you always want to incorporate the wing the wheel, the bonnet, and the front bumper um, get as much location. Now, with these shots, location is normally quite important because, as you can see, like you zoomed in on the car and then try and blur out the background as much as you can. I didn't want to do that in this one. I wanted it all nice and neat, so I shot a very high f-stop. Um, like this one here, you've got B70NY. Um, this is his Fiesta ST Stage 3. Go check him out. Um, he's got his showing off his intercooler, his his 4D plates, um, the Voodoo inside sticker, the bonnet vents, the little bit of the graffiti above the car. Um, just had it wrapped uh, with the shading. It was a very, very nice shot. With these ones, you normally get up close and personal. Um, you can't see much of the background, but if you've got a little something in there, it helps a lot. Um, so that's what I do for the front end shots. Full side on shots now. This is one of my favourite shots, this mini here. Um, the boxing, the square, the, the way it's all boxed in, it's all lined up. The right, the car smack back in the middle of the graffiti or near one, maybe a little bit off, but it was just one of my favourite shots to this day. Um, it shows off the shape of the car, it shows off the wheels, the ride height. It just gives you a general feel for how the car is set up. Um, then you move on to like another side shot like this. This is Jordan's S3. Um, lovely front brakes. Um, slams to the ground. Those K centre locks, just centre locking wheels, mate. This shot shows off, compliments those wheels, saying phenomenal. Like this is, I said to him, what's your favourite thing? He's like, my wheels. So this shot here showed off those wheels as best as possible. Um, with the side on shots, you can crop. So you, you, you get the rear, like this shot here with the golf. Uh, this is Steve's golf again, as you know, they're all, they're all the boys. So most of these photos are probably going to include them. Without them, this is where I started. So big up to all the boys. Um, this is the golf R. This is at uh, Sloan Street. This is outside the Dior shop. Um, I think the caption for this was they didn't sell the size, right size shoes for, for me or something like that. I can't remember what it was. Go check out my Instagram. Um, cropped, zoomed, stepped back. I'm across the road. I zoomed in a little bit. Um, get the shop in the background, the Dior shop, showing off his rear wheels with his nice um, groove discs. Um, really nice colour. Just have, I think there's a car just coming up. You see the shine there, but it gives you a shape of how low the car is and it gives you a bit of feel for the background as well. So that's how I, I normally attack all those sort of shots. Um, rear end shots now. Harry's good for rear end shots um, with a spoiler, the A45, um, Brandon's A45 with a spoiler in that. Like this is a rear end shot, but it's still an almost 45 degree, just maybe a little bit more. Shows off the rear diffuser, the rear bumper. But with these wheels especially, the amount of poke, I think they stuck out about two inches from the actual tyre itself, maybe two and a half inches. So with this side shot, it really complemented the wheels quite a lot. So... That's what we did. A little bit of the sky in the background. I think I was underneath, so I had to shoot a quite a um, high, low f-stop. Um, so I couldn't. It blurred out a little bit of the the fence there. You see it on the right hand side. But yeah, that's what I done with that one. Um, again, the rear end shots. This is 45 degrees. It's still a rear end shot. This is the same shot from another car park shot that I done with that S3 as well. Um, you might see a couple of them. But Steve's rear diffuser, getting those wheels in, showing you how slightly how low is sitting. Like this is one of my favourite cars, the photos. The, the blue in the car parks looked phenomenal. So, like I said, just try everything with the rear shots. Like get the rear quarter, get the rear wheel, get the rear exhaust in if you can. Normally shoot on the side with exhaust as long as they clean them, not like mine, black as hell. Um so yeah, that's that's what I'd do for that. Last shot of the day is what I call the law shot. Now, this was introduced to me about eight months ago to Harry Law. Um, it's, I know he always done it, he always stuck his camera about an inch off the floor. And I was like, why do you keep doing that? Why do you keep doing that? And it just pays off. So I call, I've called this the law shot. I don't know what it's actually called. I don't even know if it has a name, but this is what I've called it. So go and check Harry out, because Harry does some good shots as well. This is where I've got this idea from. Um, like I said, I've used it every time I go, every time I try and get this shot. So like with this shot here, this is again outside the DR shop, this same shot you saw a minute ago. Um, the camera is about an inch off the ground, pointing up a little bit to give a bit of the building in the background, but it just complements right up. This is really good for really low down cars, like aired out cars. Like, like I said, you can just about see the front lip of that. Um, I do that shot every time I go out, like inch off the floor, pointing up a little bit, 
get that background in. Like I said, it always pans out. Like this is at Santa Pod. This was about an inch off the floor. You really blur out that floor, focusing on the cars. The background is a plus. Like that is doesn't matter what angle you try. Like, try everywhere. Walk around the car. Even if you have to take a step shot, step shot, step shot. One of those I can guarantee you will be worthy of an Instagram post. So, to recap, there is no one way of getting shots. They're just some of the things I do. There's so much more. Like, if you want to see how what we get up to when we're doing this, let me know in the comments section, and I'll see if I can get like someone to do a third-party filming of us taking some photos of the cars on the night out or whatever you want to see. Let us know what you'll see. If you want to know a bit more about camera settings and that, put in the comments. I'll message you back and get back to you as soon as I can. Um, I hope this video was of some help to you. Um, if you want to see some more of my photos, go check out my Instagram. Um, Big shout out to the boys, all their links are in the description, go check it out. Um, so make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, go and hit the subscribe button and comment if you need to know anything else. Sweet.